everyone, I'm here with another match with the uh, Conjurer's Closet deck, and we'll see what happens. I think this is a keeper. We do need to draw white for it to be really good, but even if we just draw more black, it's still an alright hand. Search for tomorrow. Okay, so he's ramping into something. Okay, more removal. Wonder what he's trying to ramp into. Maybe it's the Genesis Wave type deck we've already seen. Yeah, we didn't draw what we wanted, but we can kill anything he plays at least. I feel like that Genesis Wave deck ran this too. I played that match a while ago though. <clears throat> so I'm not remembering. Four lands it is. All right. That's nice to draw. Um, we'll play out our Sandstep Outcast. She's not going to make a Kithkin right now because we don't have two planes, so I'd rather play the Outcast. I don't think it's that Elf Genesis wave deck, otherwise we probably would have seen an Elf by now, so by turn his turn four. Five forests. That's a lot of lands. Okay, some more ramp. I wonder what evil he's ramping into. I'm hoping it's something that can be doombladed. That's my uh, greatest desire. We'll swing with both. Back when the days when Sakura Tribe Elder could put damage on the stack, swinging here would have been really dumb. But luckily, if he wants to block and kill our outcast, he doesn't get to get a land. So So yeah, he's going to not kill our outcast and get the land, as we might have expected based on the strategy we've seen so far. Now we'll play out our Wall of Omens, give us a Plains. Nope. If we got a Plains, we could start Flicker Wisping and various other things, but we do have... No, unless it's something indestructible. Yeah, well, that's not indestructible, but it is pretty freaking good. He's going to get to draw a land, even a card, even after we nuke it with our Doom Blade. So, well, we could also Oblivion Ring it, but I think we hold on to our Oblivion Ring for something more disturbing. Um, there's some chance he has artifacts. There's no chance he has black. So I think I'm going to go for the Throat It. Yeah, Palaka Worm. Pretty good. Oh, I can't believe he was uncommon. He's originally printed. I knew he was in the Modern Masters draft, and I'm pretty sure he was a rare there. Because he's just ridiculous as an uncommon. Alright, try to get his life total back to a manageable level. We do have a way to kill two more Palaka Worms. But who knows what other monsters he's trying to ramp into. Acidic Slime. Yeah, destroying our land right here is going to be pretty annoying and also effective. Yeah, so that happens. Now we have no white. Cool card. All right, well, we drew in the land, but it's our Bojuka Bog. Who knows, maybe he can reanimate. 
Um, we're gonna swing. Yeah, con counting, uh, casting for Flicker Wisp is looking pretty challenging right now, unfortunately for us. But if we could get to five lands, I don't even care what color they are, we're going to start getting a lot of value. Can't cast our Oblivion Ring anymore either. We're not going to block. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Colonian Twin Grove. We can kill one of them. Killing the second one will be trickier. Yeah, we're just struggling here with our lands. I think we're just going to pass. Going to Doomblade something. Probably going to block the Acidic Slime too if he swings it again and probably take like nine. We're going to discard one of our mini closets. But it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Yeah, this thing is so good. Remember it from M15 draft. It was nuts there, although not as nuts as in constructed because it's hard to uh, be like mono green in a draft. All right, well, that is effective. I could have, uh, and I probably should have, Doombladed in response, but I guess I'm pretty resigned to just getting, getting wrecked here. Um, so we'll do Blade, the original. And we'll block here. And we'll take three. Really need to draw a land and hope he doesn't do much else with this turn. Preferably we have planes, but... Kitchen Finks instead. Yeah, that hurts. Um, we can play out our Hedge Mage at least. 25 lands. We did draw one other one for what it's worth that just got destroyed. So I think we put a minus one, minus one counter on the Kitchen Finks. So now we can at least trade with both of these guys and the Finx isn't going to come back. Interesting. Yeah, that'll work in his favor. And he gets a beast. You're not looking good. I mean, we can at least still block there and there and trade. Well, at least we would take 12, so it's not real practical. Hmm. Never seen that card before. It's pretty cool. If we could get out this Massacre Worm, it would do some work, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> so... We are going to block here. I'm going to play the Hedge Mage and kill the Finks, uh, at least. Um, but I think we've probably lost. Okay, if he wants to do that. Yeah. I mean, I can kill the Finks if I play my Hedge Mage. So maybe I should just 
I mean, I can shrink something else, though, I guess. I guess I'm going to block like that. Yeah, we're going to scoop. We just keep drawing all our six drops while we're stuck on three lands. Okay, so sideboard time. Let's see. Um, I don't know if we want to sideboard anything against this guy. Doomwake Giant wouldn't be bad at all. So maybe we want him and take out a duplicant or something like that. I don't think so. I think I'm happy with that how it is. We didn't really get to play that game. Acidic Slime is going to be good against us, unfortunately. We have two Oblivion Ring effects and four Conjurer's Closets that it can eat. All right, not a good hand. We're going to Mulligan. A better hand, but still not great, but we're going to have to keep it. So, no, I would not like to pay two life. Been struggling to hit our two drops. I mean, we do only have eight of them, but usually I can get one in my hand and we had one in the opening hand, but it was, um, you know, a one-lander. Yeah, and if, if things keep up like this, our hedge mage isn't going to be able to do anything on turn three. I mean, other than be a 2-2. Two -two. But we do have our outcast. Again. All right, well, that's nice. I think we're going to hold on to our hedge mage, though, because... He's going to sacrifice the Tribe Elder anyway. Um, so I'm actually going to play this. And we're going to play our Outcast again. And we'll put a 1-1 one, one White Spirit Creature Token onto the battlefield. Melinda turn. We can save the Hedge Mage for another Kitchen Finks or something like that. It is quite good against Kitchen Finks. We're also, you know, getting more land. He's not quite at mana for Acidic Slime either, which is good. Another Tribe Elder. Relic of Progenitus. I don't know if we cited that in. Our deck doesn't really care that much about that. It cares a little. We do have the uh, green, the, the white titan who cares. Um, I think I am going to play a hedge mage now. He's not going to be able to block if I do that. Uh, we need to play our shrine first, though, and I'll just play a tapped. We'll also get a kithkin. So next turn we can potentially play out our closet if we draw land. So we'll put it on the Tribe Elder, which will sacrifice in response, of course. We do have another Hedge Mage if it becomes useful. Okay, I guess he just has it as a cantrip. And we'll attack. Now we could see acidic slime, which would definitely, definitely set us back. Yeah, be Maya Dryad. Dang. Lots of ramp. I mean, we saw why he has it last game. The tw Twin Grove is the thing that's the world is the worst. This this is this is basically a green Stompy deck, it's just a updated, different version of it. God, yeah, the Twin Groves are going to be monstrous. But we do have a duplicate if we can ever get the mana for it. 
Hopefully we can play our closet this turn. I mean, we can chump block Twin Groves all day if we have to. And we can play our closet this turn. Um, I'm going to swing with everything but the Hedge Mage. Right. Then I'm going to play out our shrine. We're going to pay two. And maybe he has an acidic slime to answer this, but we're still going to get some value. We're going to kill the other, um, that thing and get a, uh, kith, uh, another Kithkin token. So, it works pretty well for me. Right. And if we draw a land, even a twin grove, we can just eat both halves of. And if we don't draw a land, okay, well that sucks. Now we can't eat both halves of anything. Because he's going to blow up our closet, surely. Yeah. Makes sense. Alright. We do have a way to put a minus one, minus one counter on that, though, in our hand. Or to exile it, which may be more attractive for a duplicate to do. And we did draw land. Because um, it's only when it dies. Yeah, so... Sucks losing our closet like that, because now we can get the Phoenix. I mean, I kind of want to hold on to our duplicate for one of the monsters he's going to play. So I don't think I'm going to play it. Um, I'm just going to swing with our spirit here. Play the Hedge Mage and put a counter on the Finks. This time he's tapped out, so we can't pull that Beast Within nonsense he pulled last time. So we're going to play her. Put a minus one, minus one counter there. And now the Finks won't come back. Really wanted to play one of his monsters so we can, our duplicant can duplicate it. We're gonna lose all our <coughs> Kithkin to block and trade with those. Another closet would be so nice. Well, unfortunately, that's something that even if we eat it, we're not like coming out ahead because he just made so many wolf tokens. Um, but we're gonna eat it. At least it can block a wolf token. Next turn we can play the Wall of Omens and maybe whatever we draw. I mean, it can eat a yeah, it can eat a Wolf Briar Elemental and then block wolf tokens. Okay, and then we're going to pass the turn. Our wall can also come into play and start blocking wolf tokens next turn for what that's worth. Come on, Conjurer's Closet. Dead Bridge Goliath, yeah. That is big. these days where you can make four mana five fives with an extra ability it's just crazy it used to be four mana five fives had to have drawbacks not extra abilities okay well that sucks all the wolves are going to swing I think we have to trade with two of them
He is in top deck mode. So there's a lot of stuff that we could draw that could help us, and we're going to try. But we didn't. Uh, we're probably toast, uh, short of like a top decked Massacre Worm. Or Sadisi, I guess. I'm going to block a Wolf and a Spirit. I mean, uh, the Dead Bridge Goliath. This way, if I like top deck Sidisi, it can at least uh, keep Sidisi in play. All right, well, that's nice to top deck too. Doesn't immediately win us the game or anything, but it is going to help out. We're going to hold the land in our hand for intimidation factor. I guess he just runs out as a cantrip and figures there's lots of graveyard stuff around. And there is. We even have a little in our deck, as I said earlier. Damn. That's a nice top deck for our opponent. He can blow up our duplicate now. Yeah, we got to top deck our Massacre Worm. I guess the... Uh... There's something, the Titan, the Black Titan could help us too. That's about it. Nope, we lose. All right. Well, we lost to that Stompy deck, um, but onward with some more matches. So thanks for watching.